Yeah, generally we issue a series of, of different alerts. Um, the current one is voluntary uh, water conservation. The next one would be where large volume users are asked to scale back. It, car washing would cease, for instance, uh, lawn watering, that, that kind of thing. Uh, and then the third stage would be an all-out ban on um, any extraneous water usage at all. And that's the one we don't want to really hit because that, that really affects the economy. If we don't get any rain over the next several weeks, you know, you'll probably see Ithaca tick up into that direction. We just met with an emergency council uh, yesterday and they were trying to estimate that. They use uh, national climatological data to determine um, you know, drought forecast. Um, I think they were saying that we would need roughly a steady six to nine inch rainfall to even catch up with uh, what would be considered normal conditions this time of year. So we'd need a gully washer, basically. Um, so we are from the Madison, Wisconsin area. We came here to visit the different falls. We heard a lot of great things about it. And we had seen pictures of Buttermilk Falls and we were surprised to find and we were looking forward to swimming as well. They all have their swimsuits. And what we came to find was um, not a lot of water coming on the falls. I'm not sure that we've ever had a, a full-blown water conservation mandatory uh, large volume water use ban uh, in Ithaca's history. It's, it's a little bit of a head scratcher and uh, we're, we're uh, a little concerned, uh, but by no means are we in dire straits where uh, we're going to completely run out of water, um, but uh, as if we don't get any precipitation at all, we are going to have to take specific measures to conserve.